Hi everyone, it's Nancy Bastien and I thought we would play with the Americana Multi-Surface Satin Paints. I got these through the Deco Arts uh, Helping Artist Program. So I thought we would come today and probably do a series on the Tyvek. Um, painting the Tyvek and making flowers with cutting them out and you know I'm gonna cut them out with a big shot with the tattered and then we're gonna melt them but it's probably gonna be in a series because you cannot um, when you paint this tie back you have to wait till it dries because you cannot yeah you cannot use your heat gun on it because it melts that's the purpose of these making these flowers out of tie bags because they melt. So I'm going to do my palette here and pour out some paints. Now these are the satin paints. I uh, have not used them before. I do not know how they're going to react. Um, but I think they'll be pretty. Hopefully they'll be pretty. And you know, I'm getting out the regular old colors that I normally use. This is Coastal Waters Blue. Isn't that pretty? And this is Turquoise Waters. And I'm just going to do this like my graffiti style, how I put it on with the catalyst. Okay, we need some green and some yellow in here. This is Melon Ball. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's try that. Yeah, yeah. How about some orange? This is Orange Sherbert. That looks good. Oops, need to shake that one up. Sometimes the fixative that there's mixed with it comes to the top. I just sat here and opened all of these. Took the little, you know what, papers off of them. Okay, now we need a yellow in here. Let's see, there's school bus yellow, lemon zest, canary, chick. Hmm. And the school bus. What should we use? I think we should go with the canary. Either no, let's go with lemon zest. Ah, it's mixing in my palette. Ah. Okay. Well, I've got all my Tyvek envelopes cut open, so we're just gonna get started. And I just, you know how I do. And I'm in real time, and so I don't edit, and I don't fast forward, so hopefully, I don't know if you're all going to be in frame. Probably out of frame for part of this. I'll try to maybe make it smaller and do little portions of it. How's that for you? Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So, I guess you all want to know what's happening since the last time I was on. Okay, I'll give you the story. My husband uh, had been um, sleeping most of the day. He's had a hard time sleeping because he's got a torn rotator cuff. And they've been sending him to physical therapy to see if they can get it strengthened because they don't really want to operate on him because, you know, he's diabetic and yada, yada, yada. 
So he had been sleeping. He, he tries to sleep anytime he could, you know, get a wink in there and here and there. And this day, this was last Tuesday. He had been sleeping all day. And I didn't feel very good that day either, so I was resting. And, um, ooh, they're doing pretty good on that paper. See that? Cool, huh? All right, let's do this section. Let's do this other little section over here. So, um, I got up and I, our bedrooms are upstairs in this new house we're in. And I got up and came downstairs and all of his clothes were on the living room floor. And I yelled at him and I couldn't, I didn't know where he was and I thought he was down the basement. And he hollered back at me and said, I'm finding clothes. And then he, um, Molly had gotten into the uh, bathroom down here and got into the garbage can and it strung garbage Kleenexes and stuff out of the garbage can everywhere so I was picking up those and my husband was uh, leaning over the cupboard and said I can't breathe I can't breathe call 911 I think I'm having a heart attack So I got 911 here, and um, you know they did all their stuff and took him to the hospital. And um, I guess when you think you're having a heart attack, there is an enzyme that your heart puts out into the blood system, and they always draw blood and check for that. And his came back negative. So he said, well, then something's wrong with my lungs. So he requested a um, chest x-ray. And they took him and they came back after a while after they read the x-ray. And they come back and they said they were very concerned because they saw two, they saw a mass on his right lung. And that didn't sound good because he hadn't been, you know, having a fever or anything or coughing or anything like pneumonia. So they were very concerned. So they admitted him into the hospital. And, you know, we're thinking the worst. And um, they had to keep him until... This was Tuesday, and Wednesday morning they were going to do a biopsy of his lung, but the pulmonary doctor couldn't do it, and so they kept him an extra day and did it on Thursday morning and then sent him home. And we have been waiting for the results, you know, got an appointment with the pulmonary doctor for this next week and waiting for the results. Well, yesterday he went over, he wanted to go over to his mom's house and see if he could find some screws and stuff to his drums. And he went over there, and while he was over there, he decided to take a shower. Because <laughs> he hates our shower here, because our shower is stupid and has um, towel racks inside the shower, and yada, 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 you know. So he took a shower over there and he got out of the shower and he was feeling terrible, just awful. And he had this horrible, um, one thing I'm finding out, painting on this Tyvek, it doesn't soak in. And I don't know if it's because it's the Tyvek or if it's because I'm using these satin paints. I can't, I don't know. Anyway, I gotta get a different, another color on here. Anyway, so, um, called the ambulance from his mom's because he thought he was having another heart attack. They took him to the hospital last night. 
and they decided they were going to mid him again because they wanted to see what the more enzymes, you know, because they were very concerned about him sweating so bad while he was having this heartburn. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this um, apple green on here, and I'm just going to put it on the paper. So they did the same test with the enzymes and everything, and the one set came back negative, but then they decided they would admit him, and then um, do a stress test on Monday or, yeah on Monday. Well, uh, one of the, I don't know, doctors that, from pathology or something, I don't know, I guess, came in and saw him. And they, I mean, they had him basically on his deathbed with stage four cancer. It had mastitized over to another lung. And, and anyway, this doctor came in and said that they did not find any. Um, they cannot find any cancer cells, but that does not mean that he might not have it. But from that biopsy, they did not find any cancer cells. Yeah, yes. Ugh. But they're probably, after he goes and sees the other, the pulmonary doctor, they might order a different kind of biopsy where they go down your throat and biopsy it that way. Anyway, so that's the story. That's where we had. That's where I have been. I've been a nervous wreck. Um, art has kept me from, you know, worrying about stuff so much. And I'm just so thankful that. Uh, I'm just hoping and praying and that there is no cancer cells and that. He's gonna be okay, and they'll find out what these masks, why he has these masks on. Okay, there's my paper that I painted with the satin paints. Okay, I'm gonna hang this one up to dry. Now I'm right here, I'll be right back. Okay. Now, I've got all this paint still here in my palette, see? Um, I'm just going to put that on a smaller piece of Tyvek. But earlier today, I was playing with my sprays from DecoArt and my stencils. Just seeing what they would do on this Tyvek. And I'm just going to mix it all up and scoop it on here and see what comes out might have baby poop poo poo color I don't know we might have something pretty and we might have something yucky anyway um, so I was playing with my sprays earlier today and my stencils on this Tyvek and so what I want to do is um, show you what I've done and uh, maybe put some of these paints on top yeah that might be a good idea okay we can't waste any of this paint so we just mixing it up and putting it on here I guess this container was not the best thing for a palette for paints. Oh well. Such is life. This is all going to get cut up into flowers anyway, so it's going to look pretty. Whether it looks like a piece of mud now, it'll look pretty. Okay, I'm going to hang this up to dry.
I'll be right there, guys. Just taking things down that have been up here drying. I need the hooks. I got a bunch of paper towels and baby wipes and all kinds of things. We're going to make flowers of this. All these uh, baby wipes and stuff that I wiped up all that blood red <laughs> delusions that went everywhere. Okay, so let's see. Earlier today, I sprayed my sprays on this tie bag. So what I want to do now is maybe put some um, These I tried with my, I bought some, they're called, I didn't buy them, I got them through the deco art. They're called Glamour Dust um, Glitter Paint. I was messing around with that and I kind of put that on here and it turned out pretty. We're going to have fun with that. Um, I just painted a piece of paper with it and you can't really see doesn't turn out too good just on with that paint on top of it. So anyway, I got those, but I played with um, with some of my stencils and the sprays. See, see all these. But I think we need to put more paint on them. What do you guys think? I know I hate to cover up the, the sprays, but should I or shouldn't I? What do you all think? Should we put some of the, um, should we play with the glitter paints? Y'all want me to play with some glitter paints? I can do that. We can do glitter paints. I'm going to put this in some water. All right, let's play with some glitter paints. I got them right down here. Oh, goodness. Let's put a... On my glitter paints. Yeah. My paper's falling everywhere, you guys. I'm... Um, oh, I just don't have enough space. And this pie pack is very slippery and it just wants to go everywhere. Okay. This I just um, put some, some of these satin paints. I just put some on the paper and swirled them around and let that dry. It came out pretty. We'll play with that. So here are our glitter paints. So should we put a blue on top of the blue or this is aqua. That might be pretty on there. Or maybe um, this is something, this is glitter paints also, but they're called twinkles. This is silver and here's white. How boring. Um, this is crystal. Let's put a, well, here's blue, sapphire blue. Let's put a contrast on it though. What's this? This is silver bling. And this one is turquoise sparkle. Ooh, let's put that one on there. right now. We'll put that one on this one. Yeah. That'll be pretty. Okay. Let's just do this. Oh, and you know what? I got a new punch from Martha Stewart. It's a chrysanthemum. And this stupid thing, I hate it. It won't punch Oh, it's so hard to punch out anything. 
Let's see, where's the paper? I, I punched some out of this paper I was playing with. It's so hard. They came out pretty though. They really came out pretty, but oh my goodness. I hate Martha Stewart punches sometimes. But this is what they look like. I mean, it's a real pretty punch. See? See how pretty they are? But man, oh man, you almost have to stand on that thing to, uh, to punch on any paper. It wouldn't even go through. I tried it on this Tyvek, see? It wouldn't even go through on this Tyvek at all. And this stuff's really thin, but it won't tear. It's got some fibers in it that make it so it won't tear. And the post office uses it, so people see it's a security thing. You can't tear it. You just can't. You can't rip it at all. It's just, it's a security thing. Post The postal services use it here. Alright, let's see what this ultra fine glitter paint. It's hard to see. But it it makes it sparkly. Yes, it does. Makes it sparkly. It's hard to see, huh? But I like it. And I'm not really one for glitter. Um, see how that does? You see, do I need to bring you in just a little tiny bit? Can you see it? So it, it does make um, going over other paints, it makes it pretty and sparkly. And can you tell? Can you see it? And this is going to be really pretty when we um, do the flowers out of it. Okay, let's do this aqua on this one. Ooh, it's almost the same color as what's down there. Well, that's pretty. nice. I don't know if you all can see or tell the difference, but I see. Can you see? Here, kiss it. Can you see it? Can you see the sparkles? Just a little bit, huh? When you turn it different ways, you can really see it. Okay. Should we play with these? With sparkles? Answer me. I can't hear you guys. Tell me. Okay, we'll play with sparkles. Or we can put some satin paint on it and see what happens. See if it's if the satin paint is opaque enough that it'll the other paint will come through. Let's try that. So let's try let's try some chartreuse on this because it's kind of same kind of green and see what happens. Oh that medium that's in there is not mixed in it. Okay, let's 
let's see if this is going to work. Oh yeah, you can see through it. Oh, I like these satin paints. Never worked with them before. Luscious, luscious, luscious. Well, that is really good to know that the pa they're opaque enough to see through. So you can use them on layers and layers of backgrounds. All right. You don't see that? Pretty neat, huh? I'm gonna have to hang it up. up to dry. Okay. All right, we got this turquoise. It has Aztec. This was called the Aztec stencil from Deco Arts. It wasn't from uh, Andy Skinner. It was Deco Art one. So... brush rinsed out and let's put an aqua or this turquoise water yummy that looks good You guys know me, I don't like things on my finger, but I'm sure got a lot of stuff on my fingers. <laughs> now how come that one is not o is opaque? What's wrong? Did I put too much on? That covered it right up. What's the deal? Hmm. You can't see any of the stenciling behind it. Wow, I wonder what if there's a difference in the um I don't see multi-surface acrylic paint. Looks like the same. I wonder if it's just I put too much on. How come it isn't as opaque? Hmm. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Well, there's some here. Let's try this. Oh, see? Even just a little bit is going to cover it up. Maybe not. Maybe I had just too much. A little bit goes a long way. Maybe I should have watered it down a little bit. Where's my squirt bottle? It 
Oops. And that just became a wash.